What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from high on Android, dopetechdaily.com, and today I've got more cases for the Galaxy Note 5. I'm gonna be bringing you guys a lot of accessories for the Note 5 and the Edge Plus coming up. So today we've got the Varus High Pro Shield for the Galaxy Note 5. Uh, this is a dual layered case, uh, and this is a new line from Varus, starting with the Note 5 and the Edge Plus. So thanks to Varus for sending me out this case. They are sending me some of their other cases for the Note 5 and Edge Plus and I will bring those to you guys as I get them in. So quickly, let's take a look at the High Pro Shield line, the features. You got the hard frame on the outside, you got the soft case, which is made of TPU, and then the mobile phone, of course, the Note 5 is gonna go inside that TPU, fit right there inside the two parts. And you got this airspace structure that's sort of gonna give you a nice cushioning. Of course, it's gonna have that nice textured pattern on the inside that Verus is so famous for. So let's go ahead and unbox this. You see I've got this in the red color. This is the red and black. So it's got a nice sort of brushed aluminum look on the outside. Let's go ahead and take the plastic off the side here and just get into it. I did not bring my unboxing knife over to my work desk today to shoot these, so, but it pops right out as soon as you take the plastic off. As usual, we get a little bit of stuff inside from Verus or Varus, however you prefer to say it. I should probably ask them how to pronounce their name since I've been working with them. You see here, you can go online to their website there, get some more information on the case. You can register your case with the official certificate of authenticity. You've got your unique product ID right there. And then of course, as usual, Varus gives us a nice little fake Note 5 right there. Throw it to the side, we got the real deal over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the case. As I mentioned, it's got a soft back here, but it's got kind of a brushed aluminum look. It's kind of similar to the Verge series that I did for the G4, except the Verge series had a hard back. Actually, I have the G4 right here, I'll show you guys. For those of you who didn't see the video I did on the Verge series, the Verge series has this brushed look. This is my G4 Verge case from Verus. See, this has got a hard shell on the back, but this looks very similar. It's got this brushed aluminum or metal look to it. But this is actually soft here uh, and not hard like the one on the Verge case. So you still got the Varus branding right there on the back. It's got a nice color, this sort of a charcoal color. Let's go ahead and put the Note 5 in there and we'll take a look. Now it is a two-part case, so you can separate it if you want. Normally I don't separate it. There's really no need. You don't have to. Um, so I don't separate it when I put it on. Never had a problem. So then you can go ahead and snap it into place. And then you see here, you got raised up power button there on the side. Looks like it's got a nice tactile feel. I can definitely feel where it is in relation to the case. It's one thing I always like. You see right here, you've actually got some more branding right there. If you guys can see that, it says high pro shield right there on the side of the case. So you actually got the name of the Varus line there. That's nice. And then over here, of course, you got your volume, volume buttons. They're separated. So let me go ahead and see if make sure the volume buttons are nice and clicky and working. And indeed they are. So the power and the volume buttons seem to be nice and responsive. Of course, you've got cutouts on the bottom for your charging port, headphone jack, your speaker, and of course the S Pen. Let's give the S Pen slot a test. Make sure we can easily extract my S Pen. The bottom, yeah, no problem. Write something, whatever you want on your screen right and then stick the S Pen right back in there. Make sure you don't stick the S Pen in backwards. Everyone out there, if you haven't seen the article floating around, Shane did a nice article. I'll link that below. It can damage your phone. But overall, this looks like a great case. You see you got the, right here there's some branding also on the camera module. You see where it says megapixel there. They usually have some branding right there. Indeed it does. Nice cutout for the camera and the flash. Overall, this is very nice. You got a soft sort of matte finish on the bottom contrast this sort of brushed aluminum look, which again is actually soft and it's not hard like on the Verge case. So it's definitely a new uh, sort of fit and feel. I definitely like the black and red. Got sort of the MKBHD theme going here with this Ferris case. So overall, a very nice case. I definitely recommend it. Ferris, one of my favorite companies. Uh, I will drop a link to this case down in the description, both on Ferris website and on Amazon if it is available on Amazon yet. Uh, I'll have a whole bunch of other cases coming up for the uh, Galaxy Note 5 and the S6 Edge Plus, but this is definitely a case that's going to offer you a decent amount of protection. 
It's not the highest level of protection, of course. Um, if you go take a look at my UAG, my Urban Armor Gear video, that's more of a heavy drop protection case. This is one that'll offer you sort of a middle tier of protection and definitely has a raised up lip. So you don't have to worry about if you drop your phone face down, you don't have to worry about cracking your screen. But this is definitely gonna offer you substantial protection and also give you that high style, which is something I like. I like a nice combination of style and protection. All right guys, so again, check out my social media links below. Follow me on Twitter, Google+. Uh, like the video, please, really helps out the channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out high on Android, dopetechdaily.com for great Android news and more giveaways. And I will see you guys with some more Note 5 Edge Plus accessories, plus a whole bunch of reviews coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.